The 1999 World Cup final was between Australia and France, who the previous week had knocked out the favourites New Zealand in dramatic fashion. We knew a lot less about the French than we knew about the All Blacks and you know, we, like everyone else, had anticipated New Zealand would win that game. And at half time, it looked like New Zealand were going to win that game running away. But then some magic happened. Knowing that we didn't have to play them was, was uh, an ecstatic moment for us. You know, we're jumping around, we're high-fiving, um, we're laughing, and then all of a sudden the realisation came that we hadn't done any homework on the French. The analysts had to stay up all night and, and basically cut the tape, you know, prepare stuff for us to watch the next day. Final check, everyone's ready and we're off. Yeah, Dave Wilson was our open side flanker and another great leader in the team. He said, guys, you know, we've just seen what they've done against the All Blacks. You know, this is going to be a tough game. You know, they could do that to us. No one had planned to see France get through to the final. We defied the odds. We celebrated that win as if we'd already won the final. And therefore, when it came to playing that night in Cardiff, we had drained ourselves emotionally and hadn't prepared to the length Australia had. It's funny, even though the scoreline was, you know, looked one-sided at the end, it never felt one-sided out there on the field. And you never, you never take it for granted that, that you're going to come out on top. Penalty to Australia, offside. And a little altercation there. It was, it was a really dour struggle throughout most of that game. Lots of, lots of niggle off the ball, on the ball. Um, and a really physical game for everyone. Half time, um, both the parties, the French and, the, and, and us, were waiting to go down. In the time before in the quarterfinals, we actually were able to take a lift. We had a lift each. This time there was no one there and there was only one lift came, so we all had to get in the lift together, which was you know, pretty hard to ignore each other when we're going down the lift. John Eels comes up with it at the second attempt. Lovely inside pass. Gregan to Finnegan. We'd seen what they did the week before, but we felt we've got a fair bit of control here. And he gets there. For a moment, I thought he was not going to go for it. We finally wore them down, um, and we scored some good tries in the end, and we, we finally enjoyed that game. Oh, and Gregan looking the wrong way, then going himself. Warren, Finnegan, right in the corner. I think it's Ben Tune who got over. In the last three or four minutes of that final, we knew that that game was ours. And uh, it was a very different feeling, running around the field, still doing your work, but being able to enjoy the last moments of a World Cup final. Celebrations are starting on the touchline, if not on the field. Yes, it's party time. Bill's going back to Oz, that's for sure. And that is it. Andre Watson brings down the curtain on the 1999 Rugby World Cup. C'est la finale de 99. Euh, le, le, le titre était Looking back, it's clear the title was deserved by Australia. I think that when you're engaged in a match with such intensity and at such a high level, it's like arm wrestling. And we'd lost that arm wrestle. We lost it mentally and we lost it physically. It was an overwhelming occasion and yes, we used up a lot of our energy. And we didn't have enough strength or stamina to beat Australia on that day. The great experience for me was to see the looks on the faces of, you know, 95% of that team who hadn't won a World Cup before. Obviously, myself, Dan Crowley, Jason Little, John Eels had held, held the World Cup before, but to actually see the looks on the face of guys and you knew the sacrifices, you knew how much had gone into the last three years leading into that tournament, how important it was. Now there, there was Her Majesty the Queen presenting us with the, the, the trophy and our winner's medals. 
you know, from a, from a kid growing up in Australia in the uh, you know, in the backyard, pretending you're you're a wallaby, pretending you're out on the field and kicking a ball over the clothesline in the backyard, you know, to actually be out there receiving the trophy. That's it. It's a big dream. It's a, it's a very special moment and, a, and it's a hard one to, to really put into words. Yeah, it's as much relief as it is elation. You know, it's, it's, it's this sense of brotherhood of these people that you've been this journey on. It's this sense of, of sacrifice and knowing that it's special for all of you in, in your own particular way, but also in a collective way.